Oh, hey, everybody. It's Paul. Good good morning to you. Um, I regret not uh, being able to um, muster up the energy to bring you the video that I was trying to bring you last night. Um, I certainly regret it because the very bizarre video that I saw last night on AM TV was the most peculiar video I have ever seen um, what, um, on YouTube while the person was trying to make sense. Now, Chris Green is um, the uh, host there of AMTV. Now, let me make sure that I clarify this for my subs. My job has gotten easier this morning because I had to take my tablet and I had to try to record the show for you because AMTV's video last night was so... I don't even have a word for it. I don't even have a word for it. Um... I'm going to try to explain it to you and make you understand why you don't worship Chris Green as a god. It's much better for you to worship me as a god. Or if you don't worship me as a god, you could think of me as a higher being. Now, I will tell you that Chris Green is a very smart man. But he's not as smart as me. He's a lot smarter about getting rich than I am. That uh, suffice to say. But Chris Green is a well, well traveled, uh, evidently multimillionaire, uh, due primarily, I guess, to Bitcoin. Now, The video last night was bizarre. Um, he had shot a, a deer and uh, had it uh, stuffed. And I guess he's going to put it on his mantle. I don't know where that was at. I don't know. Must have, Was it Hawaii? I don't know. It, he lives in Maui, evidently, I'm told. He also has a place in Arizona, I'm told. I can't speak on this as fact. That's what it would appear. Now, he does go on about his wealth over and over, ad infinitum. Uh, and he's what you might call your prototypical uh, conspiracy theorist. The problem is, uh, Chris Green can't be trusted. That's my opinion. That's just my opinion. You might think differently. Chris Green, on many, many occasions, has uh, told his audience that he speaks for God. Uh, God tells him what to say. Uh, he uh, basically gives you the tarted out version of what God has told him. That he essentially, not essentially, but verbatimly, uh, if there is such a word, speaks uh, for God through him. He is now, uh, fancies himself now as a uh, minister of some sorts, maybe a, a minister of Bitcoin, um, he was able to purchase some sort of a, a domain, um, you know, I, I guess a channel or the channel name uh, that says like uh, Bitcoin Jesus or what, Crypto Jesus or whatever it is. Maybe that's it. Crypto uh, Jesus, whatever it is. And he's made these bizarre um, videos, and last night was no exception. Now, I'm going to tell you what it is. 
Chris Green came out last night and essentially did the multi-millionaire version of what I did to you people yesterday. Anybody that listened to my video yesterday about the people waltzing over the border, uh, getting jobs here in the United States and not being able to even say what the numbers from 1 to 2 or 1 to 6 or 1 to 10, whatever. Incapable of it. They don't understand any English whatsoever. Somehow, you mindless, stupid, sub-zombie dupes feel that somehow because... You're told how incredibly wise you are for believing the lies that they tell you through media of all sorts, virtually all of it, that you believe yourself to be very sage and wise when, in fact, you are, I can't even say as dumb as a box of rocks because I think the rocks might have more sense than you. And I say that about over 99% of the people that are out there. My subs are listening to me. And they it doesn't apply to them. At least they're hearing something that makes sense. Like, for example, this thing right here. You know that little, uh, the Jabruski there? Right? Well, why is it, if it was such a major major um, global problem and certainly a problem here in the United States since everybody was dying. Uh, why was it that we had people that were making money off of it? I know, I know. I'm not making any sense. I know. Because you're a mindless fuck tool, fuck shit idiot. Of course. Now, that's my subs are excluded from this, of course. Now, why do I mention that? I mention that because my life would be and would have been much, much easier if I had just believed like you people. That's all it would have taken. Just the ability for me to find a break in the pattern of the scam. That's all. As it were, the pattern never broke. Uh, I'm not going to make this about this particular issue, but I'm trying to make a point to you. It's when you would say to somebody like you, which is a fuck moron, a, a sub moron, fuck sub moron. If you don't fuck, then you're just a sub zombie or a sub moron, whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, if you said to somebody, if we have a really bad situation at hand, there should be laws put into place to make sure that the cure or the remedy does not make a profit, not one penny. Now, why would that make sense? Since you're a sub-fuck zombie, you can't understand that. Now, you can understand the basic essence of it. But the real truth is once you kind of understand and have something in your head besides fucking uh, dead tissue in your heads, which is 99.9% .9 of you, my subs excluded, it would be done for a very good reason. And that is you do not want to encourage something done on a massive scale um, because of the financial aspect or financial gain for some. And that's exactly what we had. I'm not making any sense, am I? I'm not making any sense. You're just going to have to listen if you want to continue to listen. So I know I'm not making any sense. Um, in other words, if there's a great thing that's killing everybody, the answer should be something where wealthy people can make more money. You understand? That's why you would have watchdog groups or a main watchdog group to verify, but we didn't have any of that. We had the exact opposite, but since you're fuck zombies and you think you're real smart because you were told you were real smart, then you can't possibly understand this. I don't expect you to. My subs do because they're smart people. And that's how you discourage 
uh, something that can take over your society, which the scam did in spades. Let's not get into that. That's an unfortunate event which is going to reoccur, but reoccur at a more um, ugly manner and even more invasive because that was just a prep, in my opinion. That was just to prepare you to do things that you're told to do for your own good and for the good of other people. And if you don't do it, then for God's sakes, you're stupid at first. We understand that. And then after a month or so after something like this comes out, if you don't want to do it, then we realize that you may not just be stupid. You may actually be uh, trying to hurt the general health of the public. And then after another month, then you are absolutely a conspiracy theorist. You are absolutely evil. You are trying to undo everything that these brave people have set forth for us and uh, burned the candle bright, as uh, one of those websites on the left said, burned the candle bright to come up with this miracle over here, which we know very little about, to be honest with you, in my opinion. That's my opinion. I do not have any qualifications for that. But um, from what I understand, there should be at least years of uh, um, trials. But we didn't have that, of course, because everybody was dying. Oh, my God. Everybody was dying. All right. So we're not going to get into this for too much longer. Now, Chris Green alluded to this yesterday. And he is very, very upset about it, as yours truly is. Why was he upset? He was upset because of Elon Musk's revealing that a human has taken something into their brain which helps them think better. And he was very, very distressed by this. And I agree with Chris. I'm very distressed by it, too. And there are certain words that you cannot use here on this platform. And um, that's uh, the, the word that comes to mind about a person like a $6 million man. Uh, that was the TV show before inflation hit uh, in the 1970s. That was groundbreaking. It was called the $6 million man. It was an astronaut that had severe damage to his eye. Uh, one of his arms and both of his legs or whatever it was. And uh, they rebuilt him. And they call that... Uh, that's what they call it. But we're not allowed to say that on this platform. And uh, they don't like that. So you figure out the reasons why. Now, believe it or not, even though the video last night was very peculiar, to say the least... Um, I understand where Chris Green is going with this. I do. Um, he's very upset because he feels, and I, I'm saying I'm kind of uh, encapsulating this for you, but the um, it's accurate. He's upset with the American people because he's calling them uh, bad names, like uninformed. And uh, cucks, and cucks is a term which um, they have it in every kind of a natural thing that you can imagine. It applies in uh, sexually speaking uh, when uh, when a uh, woman or the man of a uh, of a marriage or a relationship wants to, wants to introduce another male to the woman and. Um, uh, uh, watch the wife, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, everything related to that, but it also happens in nature non-sexually. It happens in nature with certain types of um, insects or bugs and so forth um, who trick. Uh, uh, they trick a host into taking their eggs into their body and raising the eggs that they inject into them as their own offspring. This is all part of cucking. Chris is accurate because that's exactly what all of you are. You are cucks. You're cuckolds. 
And yes, that's true. You have no dignity. You're an embarrassment to our society, all of you, my subs excluded. That's why you worship me as a god, because you do not want to be part of the rank and file here. So Chris is very, very upset. Cuck was the word he used many, many times. He took the video down, which was a smart idea, because you can only kiss, literally, and whatever he was doing, it was very intimate, with the stuffed deer. Now, he had to take it down because a lot of his uh, things that he tells you is self-serving. In other words, I tell you things, and I am not self-serving. It's not going to change my life one way or another. But for Chris, he has 687,000 uh, cuckolds that subscribe to his channel. And he basically, after going a little too far to try to help you cucks out there, which is 99.9% .9 of you, um, he, he um, cooler heads provi uh, prevailed, and he or one of his advisors said, hey, you know what? That's not going to look good to people who are vegetarians for you to be uh, lovingly stroking your dead deer that you shot, which you uh, claim to have fed your millionaire family for uh, two for two months. OK, uh, because uh, the simple truth is, Chris, you don't need to shoot a deer in order to be able to feed your family for two months or your village or whatever it is that you were saying. So you're wrong. You're wrong. But I understand where you're going with this. We get it. My subs get that, I believe, if I can speak for them. He was also very upset about, you know, this. Like I told you, he was also incredibly upset about the people waltzing into our country. He was incredibly upset about that calling you cucks, which is exactly what that is. It's a form of making love to your wife to make your wife give birth to uh, foreign babies. That's what that's all about, in my opinion. You're just too, um, your hubris is such that you've been told that you're so smart for believing the public line that comes out by the media that you envision yourself real smart and there's not no one that could be as smart as you when in fact you're about as dumb as anything could be and it makes it even more dangerous and raises the stakes that's what chris was talking about last night uh, also uh he's upset that um uh, donald trump is having problems uh he's very upset by that however in the same video he came out, of course, he didn't call him Donald Clinton, like I do, but he came out and admitted that it was Donald Trump who who got this wonderful miracle for you, big, big doses, wonderful doses. That's what uh, the Don came out and said, millions, millions, and millions of beautiful these. Folks, Chris spilled the beans. Not a good idea because virtually all you sub fucks out there are going to believe one or the other. You're going to believe one or the other. But he came out and said that uh, Donald, uh, Donald Clinton was on that Epstein plane many times. The Clintons evidently uh, also were, but I don't know that to be a fact, but that's what we're hearing. They went to a little island. Lots of wealthy people had. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that he identifies correctly that ex-president Donald Clinton is part of it. And he came out unwisely and said, what I told you that I saw with my own two eyes, which was after Trump was elected president, this courtesy of the now defunct channel Richie from Boston, 
They took his channel. And then he kept trying to make new channels and they finally shut him down because he had a lot. He had 500,000 subscribers. He was a big deal. Um, he was a big deal. Now he has a channel called Jail, um, Jailbreak Outlander. And he goes into the woods and this and that and all these different areas and is four by four. And he just... Uh, shows you how to survive and shows you all the beautiful things in nature. Wonderful, wonderful for the man, especially for an ex-jailbird, uh, you know, with a troubled life. Uh, and uh, he's turned himself around. Uh, you can go check it out for yourself, uh, Jailbreak Outlander. Uh, that's Richie from Boston. They took away and neutered him because he was telling you that the scam was purely a scam. There was nothing to it and do not take the scam. Do not take it. Chris Green said that you are doomed last night if you took the scam. I have a lot of problems with Chris Green because when it was happening, I was losing my channels for telling you what he refused to tell you at that time because he knew that virtually everybody out here that saw him believed to a great degree that this and um, what that was for was all real. I've been telling you for years that there is zero to it. Not one percent or one tenth of a percent or one millionth of a percent. It's not real, folks. It's not real. It's a scam. It was a scam set up by in the most nefarious way using the highest intelligence forms of guidance. Chris Green, Chris Green at AMTV knew this to be true. And because virtually all of you are fuck shit, fuck all zombies, again, if you don't fuck, then you're just a fucking retard, sub retard. Um, he knew that if he came out and told you that this was all a scam and not real to any degree, that the people would not buy his Bitcoin. And I watched it. I watched his show and he actually came out and recommended uh, in a very coy way that you go inside because it was safer and said it with a straight face. Now, of course, these videos are erased. Many of them. That's what he does. He may even be in on it himself. I've noticed that his subscribers don't uh, go lower than in the 660 thousand to 688 687 thousand it has never risen or de or decreased much more than that he claims to be an ex wall street um um stock man uh, advisor or whatever so while chris was busy manipulating um you cucks out there to buy bitcoin and uh, join his program I was out losing my channels, uh, trying to warn you people. And that's what Chris said last night. Chris said that he's part of it. They are good friends with, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Donald uh, Clinton is, uh, Donald Trump, ex-president, um, is very good friends with the Clintons. And I told you, on uh, Richie from Boston showed us a video where it was hush-hush, where Donald Trump, newly elected president, came out at a small little uh, pancake feast breakfast or whatever it was that he was at, had the Clintons right beside him, both of them calling them great people. And that was to prepare his people for being as they want you to be. Now, look, I'm going to stop this video because I don't want to interrupt by phone call or anything else. Folks, we, you are fuck zombies. If you do not start becoming smarter people, we are going to lose our country. It is that simple. Everybody wants to be a whore and make money off things that are not good in any way. For this country like scam you understand i know there are people that made an awful lot of money on it i know people like that now firsthand
firsthand who have told me if you can make money off of it, then do it. No thanks. No thanks. Folks, I beg of you, please worship me as a God. If you worship me as a God and pray to me, you will never have to worry about thinking again. You can't think anyway. So just subscribe here and consider worshiping me as a God. Take care and I will see you at a latter day. I know I've been quiet, but when I say something and get on my soapbox, it's generally speaking critical or very urgent as this is, in my opinion. Take care. Bye.